Now before we begin, movie reviews have kind of changed a bit. We're actually going to be like, not going through the films like we did for Rogue One and, episode, and Hello Episode 1. No, we're not going to be doing that anymore. We're actually going to be talking about the film. So, it sounds lame, but that's what we're doing for movie reviews now. When other people do it. They get they get views. They get stuff. Anyways, hope you guys will enjoy our our movie review update. Anyways, let's, let's talk about Spider-Man Homecoming. So, Spider-Man Homecoming. This movie has been in cinemas for, like, not that long, actually. It arrived on Thursday, July the 6th. And we actually got to see it early, so that's pretty cool. And also, one... Oh, another thing. As you can see down there, yes, the video is going to contain spoilers. A spoiler, spoiler warning, and if you haven't seen the movie yet, I prefer you getting out of here. Let's talk about Spider-Man Homecoming and think what it, and, and tell what I thought of it. It was the best Spider-Man movie. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. This is only your first experience with Spider-Man Homecoming, so I don't think you would think it's, like, really amazing or the best superhero movie ever by... Like later on, this is only your first experience. I actually did go see it in um in gold class at the movies, and uh, I actually do say I call I call it a ten out of ten. But this is only my first experience, so maybe later on, if I watch the movie more and more, maybe I'll start like tiny tinsy bit start getting sick of it a bit. But actually, we're now going to be talking about the spoilers. So if you have not seen Spider Man Homecoming, I prefer you getting the hell out of here because. We're going to be talking about a lot of spoilers. Maybe some things that disappointed me. If I actually do think of some things. Scenes that actually disappointed me a bit. And scenes I actually loved a lot. And talking about some, like talk about the ending. Off the credit scenes and a lot more. So let's actually talk first about the ending. I mean seriously. I can't even think of such a hilarious ending of a Spider-Man film. I, I can't. Do you know what I got? Do you guys know what I mean? I mean, the ending was funny in the feeders. Everybody was laughing in the feeder. Currently, Peter actually got his suit back for being, you know, for defeating Vulture. Spoiler alert, he did. He got Vulture to prison. Spider-Man won. And he actually did, and Tony did say the right thing to do and give Peter the suit back. Sorry, it's really dark. It's just that I can't really open those right now. But uh, he actually gets the suit back, and, and Peter's just, like, standing at the window, and he's just like, He's just like, I'm Spider-Man. Not really talking, he's just like, saying, thinking his mind, like, I'm Spider-Man, I'm a hero. And then, right behind him, at the door, Aunt May is right there, having her mind blown. Seeing what the hell Peter is wearing. And you won't believe what the heck Aunt May actually said. I'll come close. This is Aunt May's reaction to Peter being Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. What the f- Ooh! As you can tell, she actually was about to say, What the fuck? But, and, but before she said it, the credits just ran in. So Aunt May figured out who Spider-Man is. That was a huge spoiler, guys. That was the complete ending of Spider-Man play. Of, of Spider-Man Homecoming. Now let's actually talk back to the- now, the ending was so big. I mean, so many big things and funny things were actually happening. Like, I I'll explain. Peter was going to get a new suit. Tony was proud of him for stopping the Vulture, so he was actually going to say, Welcome, you are a part of the Avengers. He was actually going to be part of the Avengers and actually also get a new suit. What is it exactly? It is the Iron Spider. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. It's not the Iron Spider, but it is something really cool that I actually can take a. F I actually do know what. It I actually can get a photo of what it actually looked like. Here it is. Yes, he was going to wear that. Like, Tony Stark was proud of him of beating the Vulture, so he was going to give him this suit. Like I said, he was going to give him this suit. It's not the Iron Spider, but it's something a bit, so about as about as cool as the Iron Spider. It is this, and I know it's bad quality because someone shot it in the theater, but that's all I got. And look at that. Do you post your comment down below if you actually think that suit looks awesome or not? Oh, and something else that might shock a lot of you guys: Pepper Potts actually returns. She returns in a Spider-Man film, in an MCU Spider-Man film. She returns. I know, so shocking. We haven't we haven't even seen it since Iron Man three, and now we actually finally get it. Finally get it. Remember from Civil War, uh, Tony said that him and Pepper 
Um, we're actually taking a break, and we actually get to see her again in Spider-Man Homecoming. Does she look any different? She looks a bit older than before, but because it's, you know, you know, it's been like one, two, three, four, like four years after Iron Man 3 to this movie. So, yeah, Pepper. Now, guys, now it's the spoilers. More, we're going to talk about more spoilers, and we're actually going to talk about the after credit scenes. Yes, there were two after credit scenes, which is pretty cool. So, let's talk about the first after credit scene. Spoilers, of course. Let's get into it. Not to embarrass myself, that this is the first after credit scene, and I actually didn't really understand the after, this, the first after credit scene at all. It shows Vulture being um, taken in prison because you know for being a bad guy, and then this guy who's also in prison meets up with him. Now I actually thought he was um, one of those guys from the Avengers and Age of Ultron from the beginning who was like a, a part of a Hydra. I thought he was one of those guys. I actually just thought it was him. I did not know who he is and what this ending explained. But I'll try to figure out soon, just maybe not now because while I'm doing my review, I'll try to figure out what this after credit scene means. But because I don't really know, maybe you guys will find out. If you don't know what it means, uh, people who have seen this movie, comment down below and tell me, please tell me what it means because I don't really know. Let's go into the second after credit scene. Now this after credit scene was a dumb one. It showed Captain America like popping out of nowhere, talking. And, and we were actually all in the theater, my mom, m with my mom, and we were, I told my mom that there, there should have been a second after credit scene, so we were waiting for a very long time until Captain America popped out of nowhere in a white background, and then Captain America said, I know you've been waiting here for nothing, and it's true, we were just waiting here for nothing, we were just waiting for a stupid after credit scene. I was like disappointed, plus laughing. And it was really jerky, and that's all the after credit scene, and that's all I want to talk about. So, let's actually really review this film and tell tell some things I actually thought about it. Alright guys, we're done with the spoilers, and now we're going to think what I thought about it. Now, there are so much amazing twists in the f in this film. Also, they're actually, they were actually more hilarious than than, like, really big. They were hilarious twists that I loved so badly. They actually really made me laugh. I'm, remember what I said? I'm done with the spoilers. I'm not going to tell what the twists are. You can find out yourself. But they were so freaking funny and really shocking, actually. I had, And it's just, oh, my God. When you guys check it out, you'll understand what I mean. Now let's talk about the scenes that actually disappointed me. I don't know, this movie was so good, I don't know what disappointed me. What disappointed me the most is the after, second after credit scene that it actually showed nothing. It was just Captain America being stupid. I don't like that, but it was funny though, it was a joke. Hilarious joke, Sony. Marvel, Sony, whatever. And, um, uh, what kind of disappointed me is, you know that Tinker was in this movie, and, you know, not to be so mean to him, but he, you know, he was the fat guy. Well, he wasn't really noticed and called, um, Tinkerer. I mean, we people did say, yes, that is Tinkerer, but he didn't really notice uh, called Tinkerer. I didn't really hear anybody calling the guy Tinkerer. Oh, well, I heard um, Shocker in this film actually being called Shocker, so that actually was really good. That, so, thank you. I don't know, I can't really remember scenes from, like, someone calling um, Michael Keaton Shocker or Tombs. I don't really, really remember someone actually calling, um, uh... I don't really remember seeing someone calling Tombs, um, you know, Vulture or anything. I don't really remember, but there were a few things that actually kind of disappointed me. Not too much about the Tinker Roll thing. It didn't really matter much, but... Because I just don't know what to pick out, out of what disappointed me in Homecoming. It's just nothing really did. I don't know. That's how... that it. it I just don't know. It's a really good film. Yes, it's actually really good because we actually haven't really gotten a good Spider-Man film since 2004 Spider-Man 2, directed by Sam Raimi. It, it, it's just incredible. We actually finally get one. And plus, I was actually glued to my seat with this movie. It was fantastic. They did a great job. And, oh, I forgot to mention, it's directed by John Watts. John Watts, he did a fantastic job with this film. It was great. I love this film. You guys should check it out yourself. Maybe watching it in theaters would actually be, you know, kind of better because watching movies in theaters is awesome. And uh, smack that like button if you like going to the movies. Because going to the movies... I love going to the movies. It's fun. So, yes, that's actually the good thing about Spider-Man Homecoming. It's actually a really good Spider-Man film. 
Well, guys, that wraps it up there. That is my complete movie review of Spider-Man Homecoming. Hope you enjoyed. And um, stay tuned for next movie review, which will be Hello, Episode 2. Be st stay tuned for that. I don't really know when I'm going to do it, but I'll, I'll try to figure it out really soon. Plus, thank you so much for 80 subs. We are getting so close to 100. I don't really know what we're going to be doing for 100 subs when that comes, but it's getting closer and closer and closer. And we're going to get really... We're going to get bigger. So, thank you so much, guys, for 80 subs. And hope you enjoyed the review of Spider-Man Homecoming, like I said. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming is actually now in theaters. Go check it out. It's, um, yeah. You can get your tickets and, boom, you will see the fantastic Spider-Man Homecoming in your eyes. Yeah, sorry, that's, that, 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 that was weird, sorry. But, yes, I, maybe you shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that because, you know, I actually already did spoil a lot of the movie. So, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And remember what I said, stay tuned for Hello Episode 2. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Back to this channel, people. Adios, adios.